We are back inside of Minecraft Boat Hunters and today we are going to be just sorting some things out on the island as the last few videos we have focused on running vaults. We will run a vault at the end of the video. I want to run a cake vault as I've heard these have changed quite a lot inside of 118 Vault Hunters and I haven't run one yet so it would be nice to jump into one of them and test out what they're like now. But the first thing I actually want to do in today's video is finish our actual cobble, gravel and sand farm. As it's basically working, I just want to add a few details to it to make it look a bit nicer and to make it actually function a bit easier. So the first thing I need for this to actually work is a redstone link. It requires a redstone torch and a brass casing, which I don't think, yeah, we have neither. How is a brass casing got? Chromatic iron block and a block of brass? How is brass got? Okay. Uh, mixing copper and zinc so we have some zinc and some copper we need to mix it in a mixing bowl i'm pretty sure what well, so it was that we needed and then also the other thing was uh what was it this thing i think the basin and then i'm pretty sure we also need the hand crank to obviously make it work one thing i am just gonna quickly say bear with me in today's video it is like super hot inside of the uk and we are not used to the heat so it's making it pain to record currently and how can I actually do this? I think I need a cog as well. So I've put the cog and then the hand crank on that. So now how do I do this? Do I right click them? Do I throw them? Uh, we might have to turn the magnet off. Throw them. Yep, that seems to work. And then let's also throw four of them in. I think that was four. Yes, it is. Now if I crank this, why is it not going down? It is not the wrong thing, it's just because we need a blaze burner underneath it with some lava. Do I have any? I don't. I should have some buckets though. I do, so we can actually head and grab some lava. Uh, is this completely solid underneath? It's not. Let's throw that right there. And then if I click that onto there, yes, it is now powered. So I now can crank it and it will turn the yes, copper and zinc into brass. Which I don't actually think this is going to be enough. We might have to go and hunt for more zinc. So we now have eight. Which if I type in zinc. Yeah, uh, no, it's not zinc. It's brass. Okay, that is that gets us nine, which is one block. And I'm pretty sure that is how much we needed. Then from there we need to make, what is it called, uh, a chromatic iron block, which we don't have. We can quickly craft one of them. And it was just as right click that onto there. Now the reason I've made the redstone links is because I'm pretty sure that can simplify all of this actual redstone that goes along there. But if I break that one piece of redstone and place this redstone link right there, this then, yeah, as you can see, is powered. But if I throw in a, let's throw one of the actual vault stone and then the same thing inside of there, that is still powering. So now if I actually go and just throw, where's the bra funnel gone? I have no clue where it actually went. So let's throw that back onto there. And I'm now pretty sure if we literally just throw this up onto this block, that should work. We obviously need to make it the same frequency. So that in there and that in there. There we go. So now this should, in theory, power. So if I click the wrench onto it, that, yeah, there we go. That is now powering, which is locking this up, I think. Yep, it does lock that up. Now, the next thing to test is if this was to stay constantly powered. Let's just throw a piece of gravel in there because gravel shouldn't be able to leave. That then stays powered. So if I now run over here, this is powered, which makes that powered. So yeah, that actually works, which is pretty cool. And that now eliminates all of this actual redstone underneath. So we literally just need to use the one block there and then the one block over there. So now what I want to do is I actually want to build a building around this, which I think we're going to do with some, what is this, warp stem. I was one block off, so I've now fixed it and it should be on that block. And then what I think we're going to do eventually, once I have built up the building around this, is I think we are going to move all the storage into, like, center points. Let's say we've got two right there. 
and then we've also got two right there let's also actually make these into the six-sided ones so we don't see that top bit yeah these ones right here where the top is the same as the side and then we can do that on this side as well just to make it look a bit neater and i think we could have a storage right there then if we do a gap we could have a storage right there let's just quickly put a block right there so let's say this is the sand that's the wait what have i done differently here that's two that's two so that should be there that is then the gravel uh that's sand and then in these three middle ones it will be the cobblestone the uh, clay and also the flint yeah as you can see we do have item pipes which they're not too expensive i guess the most expensive part is probably the lamimar but we have a lot of that, so that shouldn't be a big deal. So I think, let's see, do we actually have any in the system? We do. Let's make, what was it? We needed four of them, was it? Okay, no, it was two. I now have the drawers, and what I think I'm going to do is just place new ones in. As you can see, I've actually framed them with copper, and then also calcite, just to give them a nice white border. And then I think from there, we're going to use item pipes to basically transfer the item. As I think doing it so the actual items are moved from the systems is just going to be really uh, complicated and it'll make it look a lot messier than it needs to. One thing about this, we are going to have to grab the wrench because of areas like this. We don't want the items to go in or out of that. We just want the sand to go straight into this one. So let's quickly just take the flints out. They can go back into there, which will then obviously be deposited back into that one. And then we want to make that output, which that should now be putting sand into here. Yep, as you can see, it indeed is. The next thing we want to do is have the gravel one, which the gravel one is going to be super easy because it's just one item pipe going into there. That's now gravel. Really, this should be sand. Uh, this should be cobblestone, which maybe we will. Yeah, let's actually make this one cobblestone. So let's break that pipe. As then it will go cobblestone uh, then it will probably be gravel in the center here with then flint and clay on either side and then sand here i think i'm also going to rework the redstone so that it's going off of these i'll have like a one of them redstone links going from behind this or something rather than this one because then that means this one has to fill up and so does this one and i think just having it go off these ones will be a lot easier now, the, one, the only one I'm not going to have linked up yet is cobblestone. Just because, as you can see, cobblestone never isn't that much of it. Once we start getting a backlog, then I'll start linking up the cobblestone to the front here. I will just throw some cobblestone in there though, so we know that is the cobblestone one. So now we have finished all that, I quickly just want to see what orange framed glass looks like here. I don't actually think we... Okay, we do have enough to finish it all. There we go. Does that look good? I... Yeah, I actually think that doesn't look too bad, especially with the copper drawers. I think we are now ready to run the cake vault. So let's just quickly see what we... Spore blossoms. Okay, I don't actually know if we have any spore blossoms. Melons, netherrack, and pork chop. I don't actually know. Spore blossoms might be something we get stuck on. Uh, spore blossoms. Uh, spore... We have one of them. Is there a way to get more of these? Uh, if I click U on it. There is a six. No, we don't want to compost it. Okay, you can put them in Britannia pots. I guess I could quickly just make the specialist of farmer. Which can then make it so we can retake the specialist of bone mealing the actual crops. So this one I think it is. Uh, yeah, bone mealing, melons and pumpkin. There we go. So now it's not crouching anymore, is it? It's holding the ability. Okay, we are now inside of a vault and there is a cake right here. How do you eat it this time around? Okay, you have to click it. So we've got heavy. What is delicious? Uh, item quantity, uh, mob health and anger mob damage. Okay, home is east. I don't think we need to care about that, but I am going to note it down anyway. And I'm pretty sure the... I don't actually know what improves... I think it's the actual boss crate improves the more cake you get, or it could be the XP improves. Uh, what is this? Cake pedestal. I think that's the way to escape. So going off the pink, 
the cake is above us or below us somewhere yep and the cake is right there so let's quickly just grab that how do you eat it or is it a delay okay it seems like it's a delay between eating it that got us heavy delicious sweet and anger i have no clue what that is and that was a bit dumb of me i was meant to i thought that was water i can hear a dungeon somewhere around us so that does mean there is uh, or i can hear vindicators around us which means there is a dungeon I don't exactly know if we're going to loot it. I think I want to try and get as many cakes as we possibly can. Well, I done a noob. I dropped straight down into the dungeon, not realizing that there was a block the actual mobs could get through. And I died. So let's actually see. I'm hoping the body isn't too much to recover. I didn't really have that much on me, so it shouldn't be. Um, It is... 17 okay it's way possible we have 48 i only need 17 of this so let's quickly just grab the 17 that leaves us with 31 which isn't bad but that will definitely go if we die so let's just grab all of our stuff back and from there let's throw on our chest piece let's also just sort our inventory back out because we are going to jump into another one as I think I do have another cake crystal. So we're now back in the first vault. And if I quickly just eat the first cake. That has give us heavy, delicious, sweet and anger again. This is a better theme this time around. We haven't got the messy cave theme. But this might be a bit harder to see the cake. Because of it being pink. Okay, the screen is starting to turn pink around here. So it's telling me that it's maybe down there somewhere. If I quickly just jump around is it down this little hole uh yep it's right there so let's quickly just get rid of these guys uh you bounce so far right there let's also get rid of you and you uh there were some behind me as well apparently you and finally you and I, I did say we will loot special chests if we find them and our first set of chests was of an eight i have also just collected that cake which has given us heavy delicious anger sweet it seems like it now tanks on like heavy things and things to make the vault harder. I guess to make it more challenging the deeper you go. So the first cake is right at the door. Okay, that was really good. That is now three cakes we have got. And that got added heavy, delicious, sweet and anger again. So I think we just have to like keep looping around. Uh, we have 22 minutes. I don't actually know how you complete this vault. I think you have to collect like a pet that pedestal we saw in the first room or you have to leave through the portal like you do with every other. Uh, so it's going pink around the center. So I'm guessing, okay, it's right there. Let's just grab that. And what door is going to open? Uh, what door's open? That one over there. So that is the fifth cake, I believe. I do quickly just want to see if there's any like worth POIs looting. It doesn't look like it, and it looks like it's this way we have to go. So I've gone to the top of the vault, and I didn't get any sign of purple glow. So my guess is the cake is down here somewhere. Let's quickly just get rid of you. And I'm still not getting a purple glow down here. Okay, it's right here. Let's quickly just grab that. Let's also set this spawner off. Because I want to grab the ores within that room. The cake most definitely has to be upstairs then. Uh, okay, it's starting to go purple around here. So that means it must literally just be like over there somewhere. But we have to get through these first. It's definitely not in this corner. I can't see it. So let's quickly just get through. Okay, I see it. It's over there. Okay, our screen goes purple the minute we enter. So it means that it's somewhere here. It could also be below, and it could also be up. Let's just get rid of it. It's this little one here that's the most annoyingest, because it's so small you can barely even see it. So from going down, our screen... Okay, it's right there. I thought it was going to be up, but it turns out it's just in the center room. So where do we have to go from here? We're going straight again. It would be really cool if there was a way... Oh, we can! Okay, you can see down in this bottom corner how many we have of each stacked on top of each other. We actually have 16 of whatever that zombie one is. And I think that's the two aggressive ones. The other ones we have 13 and 11 of. I am hoping in the next few rooms we find another monolith thing that we can actually leave with. Because then that would be super useful. 
is our screen going pink again or is it just the room making it look like it's going pink that is the one downside okay no it definitely is going pink around about here does it go more pink the higher we go nope the pink seems to fade as we go higher i'm just going to quickly check one more room if inside the next room there isn't a lodestone we are then going to start running back because we've got three just gone four minutes and i definitely don't want to die i want to see what the boss crate is like and that is gonna be a uh, elite right there let's actually see if we can get rid of this elite because that is gonna be a lot of xp but i know these do a lot of damage inside a normal vault so i don't actually know if they're affected by modifiers i'm guessing they probably would be but i definitely did not want him to hit me there is also a cake right there let's just grab that and is there a actual thing within this room i don't think there is so we're gonna start heading back now this is the room with a pillar in the middle so i'm pretty sure the actual altar thing was up and i'm pretty sure all the way to the left so if i go over here yes right here is this how we leave please say it is consume to complete the vault and we've consumed it the vault is completed is there a way to sum up the objective we had 26 plus 26 percent mob health we had plus 19 item quantity plus 19 item rarity and plus 26 mob damage that is definitely a good vault to run for the item rarity and item quantity so first of all we got some ores we can throw them into there uh, there is a jewel right there let's throw that in there instead let's throw the jewel into there let's first of all cover the bits and bobs uh four mod boxes uh two of the mystery and one relic there's nothing else really that good inside of that one so inside of this one we got a chess piece okay that's something we can loot and also 45 vault ones we also get two mystery eggs which is kind of cool why did the mystery eggs not go into one of these is there not a slot for them it didn't don't look like it so maybe that slot right there should be mystery eggs for loot wise it wasn't too bad of a vault it could have been better but i think it could have been better because we didn't actually loot any chest uh let's also quickly just roll that didn't get anything from that and why okay that's a new magnet let's take our magnet off um what are they they're gonna go into one of the backpacks are they not yeah this one i think from the axe we got i don't actually care about axes but you can see what's on that if you want to uh armor eight and two that's the same as our current one but the actual the rarity is quite high so we will keep that chest piece for an item rarity set and the magnet uh what is our current magnet uh 5.5 okay our current one is no this new one is better let's now open this and okay there looks to be some decent stuff 25 bronze a jewel uh 24 or 46 size uh shoveling for 44 picking for 10 point affinity for 48 and smelting for 36 they all seem like really bad jewels we got two relics which actually gave us a new one and one mystery box which gave us diamonds is this a new one or is this one we already have uh richard set which is part of these two up there and that is a new one we got three shields from that actual boss crate we got an epic one a scrappy one and a rare one and then we did also get rare legging so let's now roll all of these so i think the more loot or the more cakes you get the higher rarity your loot is that's the only thing i can think of this actual shield uh what is our current one two health so it does have more health and it does have lucky hit chance which oh wow and the actual block chance is 19 that's insane this one is rubbish this one 20 percent but it don't really have anything else that i like on it and the vault leggings 10 armor and 7 health okay they're actually way better than our current ones i think uh yeah they are they give us a lot more health anyway they remove the healing efficiency and the item quantity but i don't really think that matters anyway that is where i'm gonna end this video it is a very short one that is just because recording in the uk currently with this heat is near impossible but i still have to get a video out so if you enjoy leave a like and subscribe 
hopefully once the heat calms down the videos will return back to a decent uh, length with decent progress but i'll see you guys in the next one bye